last time on One Piece. People froze. Yamato chased after her son. Jack got curb stopped, but then Kaido protected him. Oh, but then King Ron cut right through his last breath and proved his worth as a scabbard. And that's exactly what the rest of the scabbards are gonna do this episode. Totally Emerald and Detective Pikachu here. What's up, everyone? Here to review One Piece episode 1004, titled An Inherited Technique, Unleashing Odin's Secret Swordplay. Well, it's Odin's fucking sword style, so we know it's going to be epic. Oh, and an unrelated note, I'm going to change things up a bit from now on and do this at the beginning of my reviews instead of the end. You know, do the honors, Pikachu. Okay, Daddy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, press that bell icon for more anime and manga content. Alright, here's the review. So the episode starts with Yamato still trying to talk to her son, but then Shinobu's all Smoke I like how they made it look like an attack rather than an escape. Oh, but Yamato's able to find them because of his smell. Not surprising since he's been tortured a lot and gone through a lot of dirt, sweat, and blood. So, yeah, and I bet he hasn't showered in a bit. So, yeah, I bet even I could have found him. And I have a really weak sense of smell. Have for years. Suddenly they fall. Oh, and then we get this weird and creepiest scene of Yamato telling Momo to jump in his arms. This is their reaction. Funny, Daddy! Yep. And this whole time, Bao Hung is spying on them. How rude! Speaking of creepy, we see Black Maria playing the suspenseful soundtrack of prophesizing Toki's last words. Wow, she's beautiful, and she knows how to play music. Okay, time for battle! Go, scabbards! 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 Will they win? I hope so. Blast breath! Whoa! They blocked the attack! Oh! I stand corrected. Wait! Look, Daddy! They're down but not out! You're right. It'll take more than that to take them out. Alright. What time is it? It's flashback time! Damn straight, we see younger scabbards arguing about who's gonna inherit Odin's sword style, and what began as an argument turned into a brawl. That is, until Momo broke it up, bringing up he's the rightful heir to that technique. And, well, it makes sense. I mean, th a lot of them already have their sword styles, and it's best to stick what you're good at. Alright! Back to the battle! Damn straight! Kappa style, river of sea, ah, canine scourge, whoa, whoa, incredible, fallen snow sights, no way, brah, ah, slicing rounds, blast, brah, info, scrolling jutsu, ah, it absorbed the attack, and now for a taste of your own medicine, Kaido. Jesus Christ, Kaido is hell at taking a beating. And to think he got right back up from that, wow. You know, he is really worthy of his title as an emperor. All right, time for the final attack. Are you guys ready for some Udenitoryu? Let me hear you roar. All right, start this bitch. Udenitoryu. Dogen Dutska! Bam! Just look at Kaido bleed! Man, this is why I love One Piece. Man, this episode was non-stop, constant action after action. Man, this is probably my favorite episode of the year. I'm pulling that card. Like, that there was just so much action in here, and I can't even tell which is my favorite part. I mean, maybe the finale, but even then it's a really close call. Although my least favorite part was probably Yamato chasing after Momo, and I still like that part, and it's only least favorite because it didn't have much actions, but even so, I still liked it. The fact that something like that was my least favorite part shows how good this episode was. 
Also, um, speaking of the constant action, I am taking a risk by putting so much video footage into one review. I'm, but I'll still do it. Um, I'll, even if it doesn't get monetized, I'll still do it. Mostly because I'm not monetized yet. But, you know, I'll, I love you guys. I'm going to do it. Even if I have to mute it, you know? Also, there'll be no new review for the next three weeks since one a, a new episode's coming up, but it's most likely just a filler episode of Bartholomew regaling us of Luffy's past experiences, so yeah. However, I said there'll be no new review. You'll know what I mean next week. Alright, time for the after show, but before that... Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, press that bell icon for more anime and manga content. Alright! Here's the after show! So I got myself a Beyblade Burst version of Dronzer from the original series. I mean, Kai was probably my favorite of the original bunch, like, or in the original series in general. And Kiyoya from the Metal series is like my favorite Beyblade character of all time, both in design and personality and Beyblade. So, alright, let's get to unboxing. You know, fun fact, the Tyson was actually based off Red from Pokemon. And so, by extension, they've been theorizing that Kai was based off Blue. Yeah, he's pretty. Oh, they got the ripcord in here. I, I, I wanted to preserve the box a little bit. I guess it's too late for that. Man, just look at that. Man, I just love phoenixes. Phoenix, Phoenixe, whatever. Jump cut! Five minutes later. Okay, three, two, one, go shoot! Go, spin, Dronzer, spin. Let's get Excalibur in this mix. Go shoot! Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Guess this is why you need a launcher. Well, later guys. Uh, oh, he's destroying it, never mind. Man, Dronzer's a beast. That's all, folks.